Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, a video about LEGO set 146, Level Crossing from 1976. It's been a while since I made a video on the subject of trains. However, it is a theme that I also like to collect and discover. Unfortunately, nice old sets are not that easy to find and they are quite expensive. And I don't make it easy for myself by just wanting to collect sets complete with the box and manual. I already have some in the collection, of which you can see videos on my channel. And I actually found this 146 in a nice lot along with these sets. This set 171 in particular is also in beautiful condition, complete with box, manual, foam and extra cardboard. So you can definitely expect a cool video in the future of this set as well. And of course also the 7745 High Speed City Express passenger train set from 1985, which I found a while ago. But I still have to check everything in detail, and the box needs some restoration. I have already found two different types of transformers for this, so I also want to test the train. That will undoubtedly be a fun and extensive video. But today, this set 146, level crossing from 1976. Obviously, it has trains as the main theme, but as sub-theme, 4.5 slash 12 volts. It consists of 68 pieces, which is actually not that much, but it is still worth taking a closer look at the set and building it up. First, the box. It still looks very nice. I like to have old boxes in the collection, where all the cardboard is still present and the damage or signs of use are minimal. And this is not so obvious with boxes that are almost 50 years old. Once the box has been opened, it is no longer very sturdy to store the set in again. Very often it is reinforced with tape, and that is what happened here. But it is not too bad. The manual also still looks decent after almost 50 years. I see that it has been somewhat reinforced with tape here, but luckily it is not perforated or written on. It's an awkward format from the 70s, but since there are not that many steps, I don't mind. So, both box and manual are of collector's quality, and that's important to me. Even though it is a small set, it still contains a minifigure. Minifigs with limbs and facial expressions were only produced from 1978 onwards, so this is the older type that was produced between 1975 and 1978. But also cool, and it immediately reflects the period and evokes nostalgic feelings. I have seen most of the parts in this set before. Basic bricks, plates, windows, and a door. Mainly in grey, red, and white, which was typical for the train sets of that period. I also remember the blue train tracks with the accompanying white plates 2x8 from when I was young. I had set 725, freight train set from 1974, but it was still available for purchase until the 80s. It's the first 12 volts train that LEGO made, and I would also like to add that set to my collection one day. The train level crossing base is a part that I have not seen before, and I am glad to discover it for the first time today. It consists of sturdy, hard, pre-molded plastic into which two tracks fit perfectly. And then a kind of rail cap is added as a finishing touch. I have not seen this part before either. Level crossing gate type 1. It has a nice print and no stickers. The barriers already appear in set 119, super train set from 1968. But the base used in that set does have a slightly different shape and part number. Otherwise, the building experience is quite classic and I am building a house with completely closed walls in a basic design. 
It strikes me that despite the age, the condition of the bricks is good. Only one plate 2x8 is somewhat discolored. A nice detail to be mentioned here is that in the older sets you can find round bricks one by one with a closed stud. Later in LEGO history, this was modified and turned into an open stud, so that children would not choke if they accidentally swallowed such a brick because air can pass through now. I've seen this antenna a few times before. It's the milky white version which I personally like the most of all the available models. And finally, a classic green plant. I would have liked it if the designers had included the more valuable cypress, but it was not produced yet in 1976. It appears for the first time in the Knights Tournament set from 1979, of which you can also find a video on my channel. That tree was implemented in two later similar sets. Set 7834, level crossing from 1980, and set 7835, road crossing from 1985. The set is now completely finished, and considering that it's from 1976, I think it's a nice result. It's clear, of course, that it's part of a bigger whole, and that you should integrate it into a classic town set with train. But even as a separate set, it's a nice added value to have it in my collection. Because of the beautiful barriers and accompanying plate that I did not have until today, together with a nice box and manual, and of course, also for the historical value, feel free to comment below this video. And don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.